so continue on i have shown you i have made the uh, i have made a gis um uh, how, how i made the gi pipe on uh, the network map now i will show you how uh, to make the md pipeline Just select this MD line, and go to the line. So let's say this one. Next sketch. Go to next sketch. Okay. So what I want to show you in this one, when you go to the attribute table, so the two thing that you have created, uh, uh, the two sketch that you have created. Will come in this table. So whatever you are creating in uh, in this field, in this arc, uh, in this network web, that will come as a in the form of Excel file. Okay. So and uh, uh, while when you have created the uh, the shape field uh, in the catalog box in the catalog column, when you have created the shape shape field, you whatever the column that you have added will come in this attribute table. And whatever uh, and how many of the rows? Uh, rows. What, uh, what does the row show? Row show the uh, all those things that you have added in the network. Map. So that network, uh, that rows, uh, <coughs> that and whatever you create in the network map will come as a row uh, in the attribute table. And uh, and you can edit this uh, network, uh, this uh, column by using the with the help of keyboard. Let's say you write it down as. 63 mm or uh, let's say about 200 mm and this second one second one is uh, let's say 53 mm uh, you can uh, write down the name also you can write down the manufacturer uh, uh, name also write down the contractor name also or you can write down the remarks in which you can write down if there was any other uh, if there was any other problem uh, any leakage, any maintenance was there, any other issue was there, you can route it down, you can write, write down the life, lifetime of the pipeline, all those things you can monitor in the same, uh, in the same uh, table. So this is the use of this uh, GIS. Yeah. Uh, you can see all those things, all those data at one place and you can visualize it, you can relate it. Okay, uh, I'm not going to the advanced level but uh, this, these are the basic, basic things that I want to show you. So moving on to the slide, uh, on this map, uh, so I've show you, showed you about uh, the reactivity table, I've showed you about the network map, I've show you, uh, tell, told you about the table of content uh, regarding the editor. Uh, uh, there are many other things, you can drag it, uh, you can zoom it, zoom out, you can do many other things. Whenever you uh, start using uh, uh, the software, you will understand. And the basic use of toolbar. Okay, so moving on, network map. So you can show the RU boundaries. You can show the customer boundaries. You can show the customer. So okay. So these are things. Okay. So this is the industrial area. This is the industrial area. And this is what we have created. Okay. So. These are the fittings also, these are the meter, MRS is what? Meter regulatory system, the, all those meter regulatory system, uh, MRS are used for the individual industry. So, industry, so what, these are the industries. So what are our potential customer? Who are our customer? So these are highlighted by the green color, okay. These are the, these are the our green color. So when you go to the attribute table of industry, for attribute table, so, you will see the name of all those all the industries that are uh, that are highlighted you can check it out which uh, what is in uh, which industry is this let's say the cylinder ball let's say the smooth so so this uh, this this highlight when you when you select this it will be highlighted in the network map okay so you will see the industry a name for uh, the plot number name these all columns i have added okay the type, uh, what are what are they producing? What is the status uh, with our industry? Uh, what is the potential? And what are the other things? Responsibility, contact number, contact person. All those columns you can add over this. Okay. 
similarly you can what is the LNG station LNG station will show you uh, where is your uh, site where you where you have placed your LNG or CGS station uh, these are those guys although highlighted by the another color okay so moving on so I, I told you about the shape theory uh, this this slide will be in there in the in the, in the link uh, description below you can download this slide and uh, read out this okay it uh, this is the basic overview of the uh, of the software moving on table of content create feature i've told you about this so see see this this red one is the a uh, is our lng cng uh, station where the, our CNG equipment and NNG, CDS equipment and NNG equipment are placed. These are this green one is our industrial customer. This MRS by M, this M, M, this M shows the meter, uh, the, uh, the meter for the particular industry. This M is for this, uh, this M and this M is for this industry. This is what it shows. Okay. And then, uh, isolation ball ball to stop the gas in case of emergency or you want to divert the gas this isolation wall is there you can see that okay so moving on the use of attribute table let's say in case of pipe okay in case of pipe pipeline red green and black three type of pipeline there is p25 125 p19 p32 so when you go to the attribute table okay see this see this Okay, all those, all that pipeline that we have created in this network pipe, all this will be listed in this attribute table. Two dot two thirty one uh, sections we have created. Okay, uh, what is the SD, SDR, uh, SDR ratio? What is the thickness uh, of the pipeline? I have not entered the thickness here. Obviously, the thickness will not be here. It will be some value. I have not entered in this one, but uh, uh, we see that what uh, we can write down the thickness also. We have uh, write down the installation date also the length of the pipeline the pressure on the pipeline the installation method you can write out the who is the, who was the contractor who was the welder uh, who, who was uh, installing the pipe uh, pipeline okay what uh, date it was installed who was the site engineer at that time all those things you can write down what was the uh, is there an issue or, or any excuse of is taking on the pipeline all those things you can write it down and in case of emergency or when you want to go through the history or when you want to refer the data you in that in that uh, uh, at that time this will be useful for you because at this at, at one page and one excel file uh, you can you have all those data and you can visualize it in the in the real now. okay moving on the industrial customer same as for p ball ball same is for the MRS industry name. So let's say this is for let's say when you go for the isolation ball attribute table. Now I've told you like for 9127 isolation ball, the same table is there. Similarly for for fittings table is there. So it's kind of end fitting as well, deep fitting as well. Where all those things fittings are used, all those you can see. You can select and see those uh, those uh, those fitting in this network. Okay. Move to the next. Uh, obviously, the use of uh, uh, GIS in project are different. You, it can be used in marketing, like uh, we can uh, we can show the customers where are the customers, where are the uh, what is the potential, who can be our future customers. Uh, what could be the potential of those uh, customer what will be the distance you can also measure distance uh, from the current existing network to the uh, new customer uh, okay the, all those things you can measure uh, uh, you can um, write it you can add you can write it down in this map okay so project all those that you are seeing is the project uh, for the marketing also the gi is also used for ru also it is used you can read it uh, after downloading the uh, the PPT from my from the description uh, from the blue description, or you can pause pause the video and can read this uh, presentation okay, if you want. Uh, GIS 
has other use also you it can also uh, uh, use to make the grid uh, the grid that we have made is similar way the grid another grid can also be made and, and the it can also use help to use uh, help to select the most appropriate route what is the shortest route or what would be the most appropriate appropriate route to lay the gas pipeline that can uh, 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 that can also be done with the help of rtx map you can also uh, find uh, the number of uh, drs district regulated system with the help of rcis what will the location and depend upon the uh, depend upon the demand and when where there will be the higher demand uh, the more uh, gis will be required or, or that location of the uh, uh, gis will be near about that point so that location can also be calculated with the help of gis software okay you can also export the gis uh, file to the synergy for the design purpose to calculate the minimum diameter required uh, at a uh, at the location uh, at a particular pressure to meet the requirement of pressure what would be the diameter required at a particular location uh, that uh, we can also get with the help of synergy so and the gs file uh, the gs network can also be uh, what i would say uh, also be exported to the synergy software also for the uh, designing purpose okay it has uh, many other use but i have not covered all those use uh, i am not the professional in the rcis but yeah thank you